Hi, today I'm doing this video on how to convert process colors into spot colors. But not your common one or two color situation where you might go into the specific color, uh, like by selecting, for example, we have this, we have that black color, and um, we just want to convert it into spot color. So we go to this uh, black color over here, and we go there and then we go duplicate swatch to duplicate that color and then we double click on that color and then we go to say uh, spot black and then we turn it into spot color and okay good that might work for one or two colors but let's say you have something more complicated you have more than four colors uh, and you have small and big areas you know and they're segmented uh, for example my psychedelic flower. Uh, so now uh, this has uh, maybe like around 10 colors in here. Um, and I think it's the perfect uh, uh, candidate to show you uh, uh, my uh, little technique that I feel that I discovered and I'm sharing it with you. I have never read this nowhere. Uh, and I think for you out there that is doing like big color productions, uh, you will benefit out of this. So. Basically, what we're going to do first, uh, we're going to open the artwork that we're going to be working with uh, and select it. Um, in order to uh, enter the edit recolor artwork window, we can do it in two ways. Normally, once you have an artwork selected, uh, on the top menu, you will see the recolor art color wheel. Uh, and you click there and the recolor art window will open. All right. Another way to do that is to go to edit and we're going to choose um, edit colors and then we're going to go to recolor artwork. So we're going to go there and we got the same window. Nice. So that's what we want. So now since we're going to edit colors, guess what? We're going to click on the edit tab and these are all the colors we're using at this time. They're right there. Okay. So um what we're gonna do we're gonna click on this link harmony colors and they're gonna get all locked together in one shot and then after that we're gonna click on our limit the color group two colors in swatch library so we're gonna click here and we're gonna choose to what library limit those colors to so we want to limit that to the pound tone solid uncoated we click there and bam um, our colors have been changed to spot color and we can verify that that our library that we're taking those color from is the Pantone solid uncoated now once we do that we go up here and we can name our uh, uh, color schemes or our color group and this will be psychedelic flower but since I already already did this before, you can see it right there. It's right here. All my colors from before, all the Pantones, you see them right there. There's the same as one right here. And once you type your name, you're gonna say, add to no col new color group. So we go add new color group, and there we go. There we have our colors. And now we click OK, and you will see that we have our psychedelic color group right there. Uh, simple as that. Once you get the, the workflow on how to do this, you do this in a couple of seconds. It won't take you not even one minute. So um, I would say not even 30 seconds. So just I hope you learned something new today. And I really hope you use it and it will be a benefit for you and your working process. Have a good one. Until then.